carbonite is a newly discovered mineral that has hydrocarbon-like properties and can be used as a fuel. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my look at carbonite, a mod that will likely be replacing cathane. I'd like to start out by uh, checking out all of these parts. So first off, we have collectors up here at the top. Uh, this KA2500 particle collector is actually for outer space. Low carbon orbit is the only place that I've tested it, but it does collect cathane. Cathane. <laughs> uh, carbonite. Uh, um, it's, it's simply activated, and then you can toggle your resource. Um, this is This mod does support... Many other mods, including it is based on the open resource system, so it uh, works in conjunction with KSP Interstellar. Um, so that is the the space collector. Let's uh, retract. There we go. And then we have a low atmospheric collector for planes and things. Uh, next, we have some, some fuel tanks. We have the standard 1.25 and a 2.5, only one short 2.5, though there is plans to add more. We have some inline engines. This takes, uh, this has quite a lot of thrust and takes um, cathane or carbonite only. Uh, as you can tell by the orange, that's a, a common staple. If the engine is orange, then it takes carbonite. If it's blue, then it takes liquid fuel and oxygen, oxidizer. Um, we have uh, uh, three different sizes of the 1.25, the short size that I didn't show here, uh, the medium and the long, and some, some add-on tanks. We also have these little tiny ones down here. Uh, if you just need temporary storage of cathane, say you're converting it. Two inline jet engines, turbojet engines. Um, again, one takes liquid, liquid fuel and oxidizer, and the other one just takes carbonite. And of course we have a smaller um, carbonite-only engine. Then down here, we have some advanced jet engines, the Profan. Now these look really awesome when they when you turn them on, the, all the blades spinning. They're kind of a, a lower thrust compared to our jumbo jet engines. Um, beyond that, this is, this is the regular tank. It takes uh, 1450, quite a bit. Then we have a Ketho-electric generator, carbo-electric generator, carbo-electric generator, um, for all of your, your electricity needs while mining. And carbonite converter, uh, this is for the, the liquid fuel and oxidizer. And right below that, there is the distiller, which is for xenon gas and monopropellant. Um, then down here we have, can I, there we go, uh, there's two, two types of legs that I've displayed here. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about this one first. Um, it's a, a fairly basic radial, like really heavy duty radial leg. I like it because the animation is so nice. Mm. And uh, yeah, the animations on this are really just all together really nice. Um, so yeah, that's just a standard leg, not, not too much for that radial mount leg. Uh, now this thing, we have, we have three drills here, two radials, which are actually different, even though they don't look different. And then one, uh, one inline, can I, there we go. So this inline, So there's, there's three different variants of both the inline and the radial. 
This one does carbonite extraction, which you can start extraction anywhere on a planet, uh, assuming that it has some amount of carbonite, which you can tell by... Oh, I forgot to put a detector on here. Uh, but normally there's a detector. I will talk about that later. Um, so yes, carbonite can be extracted pretty much anywhere uh, via the drill. And it's all about efficiency rather than where it is. It is a pretty much infinite resource. Um, you can continue extracting it infinitely from any position on pretty much any planet that you can land on, I believe. Uh, another one is the DRT-40B, which extracts substrate and ore. I believe this is for extraplanetary uh, pads, launch pads. I'm not really sure because I don't use that mod. And I'm pretty sure that DRT-40A, which gets minerals and water, is for KSP Interstellar. I still haven't gotten to thoroughly check out KSP Interstellar yet, so I'm not entirely sure on those, but that's pulls those resources, so that's nice addition. And again, the drills have really nice animations. Okay, so without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and turn on some of these engines first. Let's put that up there. And there, they'll start spinning. Let's infinite fuel, infinite RCS, no crash damage. Whoa, <laughs> that would be the the engines up here. Primarily this one. <laughs> and yeah, so all of the animation looks looks animations look really nice I don't don't think this has any animation other than the smoke the the plumes look pretty cool too so yes well that's that's going about let's go ahead and um, switch out to some example craft that I have already placed around Kerbin. First, the lander. Now this is a simple, um, fairly simple lander slash extractor. Oh, and here's the, uh, the detection array. And please tell me that it works. Oh, it didn't because display curve. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Uh, I reloaded and previously had problems with that working. Uh, so this is the new new way of detecting um, various high deposits of carbonite of your mining resource. Um, as you can see, we have no electricity right now because we are mining. We do need to start converting. Let's do that. And this runs pretty much all the same. Uh, you have a generator, stop generator, start generator. That, that takes um, carbonite to run the generator. Which extraction takes quite a bit of electricity and so does conversion as you can see I just have the small tanks here for short-term storage and the nice thing about this is let's deploy these drills back and continue to extract been having a little problems with my right-click menu in 64 bit not sure why um, it works with both time warp oh do I not have to oxidizer or just, just do liquid fuel first 
Okay, it does oxidize her next. Um, the cool thing is, you can leave this and go to another craft. And it'll continue working. So this one, if, if you can imagine like having a station and constantly needing to refuel RCS, with this scoop, you don't have to. It will constantly bring in carbonite as long as you're in about, uh, I think it's under 80 by 80 is where it is around carbon. Um, I haven't tested around the moon. I was planning to, but uh, had some problems with the save file and a bunch of my crafts got deleted. <laughs> uh, mainly I just forgot to reinstall a mod, which is engineer. And yeah, there's the right click menu not working. There we go. Um, yeah, the, the deposits do vary at even at this height. Right now it's 75, there's 195. Uh, eventually the map will be procedurally generated. So that's in the works. Currently this version is 0 0.3.3. .3. And I think, you know, other than that, the distiller works pretty much as a distiller does. We have a bit of carbonite, carbonite here. Let's go ahead and use some monoprop. Oh, that's right, I turned on infinite RCS. Oops. All right, there we go. So say you need to do some station keeping or something, you can just refuel your monoprop. There, it took all the gethane, or the <laughs> gethane <laughs> that took all the carbonites. And yes, this, this mod has pretty much already replaced gethane for me. Uh -huh. So, Yes, carbonite. Uh, anyways, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it for this. Other than the line of sight thing, which is nice, it does have a ScanSat integration. Um, you can find carbonite in the atmosphere, in low space, and in the oceans, as well as in the ground. So that's nice. Uh, the textures I'm going to going to cite the the models and textures are from from a few different people. That just looks so cool. Um, Speedy B, uh, who has Hex Trust, Trust Hex Trust, Speedy B on the the KSP forms. Um, Nilly to work. I'm saying that wrong. Uh, he has pick and roll. He's, uh, he's responsible for those really cool jet engines. And Nirti, Nirti. I believe that's the, the, the Greek god Nirti. Um, Greek? No, not Greek. Uh, ancient Egyptian god Nirti. Uh, and he does near future the near future propulsion and electric and solar panels and engines and all of those packs that I I adore but haven't gotten to use yet. <laughs> uh, oh yes, so I would like to say thank you for joining me and I hope you check out this mod. It is quite awesome. Still haven't figured out a way to end these things. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye.